for The Book of the Snow by Francois Jacquemin, translated by Philip Mosley. Francois Jacquemin's The Book of the Snow displays a poetry which is pure, abstract, and uncompromising, but also deeply felt, utterly precise, attuned to the complexity of the world. It takes the language of philosophy, of speculation and meditation, and adds to it a rich, calm cadence. Every image has a real and exact value. The short poems are surrounded with terms which seem to gesture towards saying something which is true and towards something else which is beyond mere truth. The central paradox of Jacquemin's poetry is the human mind's need to speak played against a profound suspicion of language. The unmarked snowy fields, the mind before thought, the blank silence that underlies all human expression, these are the slates on which these poems form and disintegrate. The poems in Philip Mosley's translation are thus filled with a mysterious beauty. They have a sort of shimmering quality. They are poems filled with both the world's weather and a weather which belongs to language purely and exquisitely shaped and sculpted. Hounded by the night, the snow pushed the door and advanced to the heart of the abode. It penetrated, like those gentle convictions you have in dreams. Then it sat down in the middle of the hearth. Installed in the fold of the flames, it contemplated my thoughts. It was tired of its whiteness and awaited my compassionate shadow. As a native Englishman, I felt a certain affinity with Francois Jacquemin on discovering his work, learning that he had, as uh, Chase Twitchell mentioned, uh, been an evacuee in England during World War II and indeed had started his literary efforts in English before picking up French when he went home after, after the war. His poetry... Um, is a, a witty and often savage critique of our intellectual and artistic pretensions, and as the title of the volume suggests, it's also a, a meditation on the deep midwinter scene. I think this one perhaps brings those two together very well. The snow is everywhere, and its softness drives the sacred orators to despair. There is no longer a single spot for you to place a metaphor. Its art is so pure that it begets not the pain of a conviction. The hearing is its word. It is in the endless belfry of its whiteness that my finest understatements ring out.